Good morning. Uh, today is the 3rd of January 2019 and uh, this is number two in a new series of short videos I'll be making under the name of PJ's Daily Bugle. PJ standing for my own name which happens to be Paul Jordan. And today I'm going to talk about one particular, particular article published in the um, New York Times last week on the 26th of December uh, it's called A Giant Step for a uh, Chess Playing Machine and is written by Professor Steven Strogatz, or f um, Professor of Mathematics at um, Cornell University. He's telling us in this article about AlphaZero. AlphaZero is a program, a piece of software that's famous now because no, not only does it beat human beings at playing the, the game, the chess board type of game called Go, uh, not only does it that beat uh, best champions in, the, in that game, uh, human champions, but also it wins against all the first versions of the program that was not called Alpha Zero, it was called Alpha Go. And the difference between AlphaGo and AlphaZero is the following. AlphaGo was learning by um, memorizing, um, playing against itself a number of plays which had been played before. It was replaying things that had been played by human beings uh, bef before then. Uh, the difference with Alpha Zero is the following: Alpha Zero has n doesn't know anything about what human beings have been doing at playing uh, the, the game of Go. It was just given the um, the rules of the game, and it plays played against itself for a number of millions um, games, and uh, it learned from its own mistakes. The only thing that was given as further instruction was that it's better to win than to lose. It is encouraged to win and from then on I knew exactly what, what to do. And what is remarkable is that it has developed um, new ways of playing playing the game. It did things, uh, it has been playing uh, games in a way which is totally unexpected for human human beings, underlying the fact that, uh, that uh, for playing a game like, like chess or Go, there's something which can be called not simply talent, but the um, cultural way of doing its things. Uh, winners, uh, good players, tell others that this is the way you should do this and, and, and so on. And what we see is that when a machine decides to uh, start winning at it, at, at a game like that, it finds other ways, alternative ways of, of, of doing it. Uh, we had a, a little sample of that earlier on when when um, DeepMind, uh, a neural network, uh, start playing the uh, old Atari games and start developing new strategies that we'd never seen, seen before. But the novelty is that uh, AlphaZero has started playing chess and it, it beats the, the existing champions. The existing champions, you remember, in the late 90s, uh, the, the existing uh, machine uh, champions have started beating human beings in a particular, in particular uh, famous game against uh, Kasparov, who was the champion at, 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 at the time. And uh, AlphaZero is now playing these um, machine playing uh, machine chess playing uh, softwares uh, of which um, Deep Blue was the first instance and now the current champion is called Stockfish and when Alpha Zero is playing uh, Stockfish it's, it beats it in, in a way which you know some, some ways uh, according to uh, witnesses it ridicules it ridicules Stockfish. Stockfish is, is a brute it's just exploring uh, all possibilities uh, through computation and um, but Alpha Zero is subtle. Uh, Professor Strogaz says that it has, it has a romantic way of playing at chess. Romantic, you understand, that's not what we would call a robot in any possible way so far. Now we're doing, we are doing it. Uh, it has been done by Professor Strogaz. Um, it, it shows that, the, that machine also, Alpha Zero, is not calculating as much as uh, Stockfish is. Uh, it looks at much fewer uh, possibilities in the future and it wins against it. Um, 
Professor Strogatstra starts speculating about what will happen now when Alpha Zero will be playing, uh, not playing, but will try to solve some of our major problems like uh, how to cure cancer and things of that, that time. In, in a video I made last, last year, at the end of last year, the 22nd of December 2017, a question I was asking was, was the following. Uh, have we invented the computer in order that that machine solves the problems that would be regarded by human beings as, be as being uh, unsolvable? And it looks like that's what, exactly what, we, what we're doing. And um, I'm going to finish on this in a little note by uh, giving uh, the title of my uh, little uh, lecture of today, my PJ's Daily uh, Bugle, uh, by gi giving it a title. Are we unwittingly, unaware, currently creating a new God? Okay, see you later. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.